Hello and welcome to my craft room. This is Teresa Conway Hayes in Napa, Idaho. And I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And um, I love to craft, doing card making, junk journaling, and that sort of thing. So, Happy New Year's. For me, New Year's is nine and a half, ten, two and a half hours away. So, I thought that I would show you uh, what I've been doing. I decided to go along with a um, uh, January junk journal challenge or project. I'm not really sure how to refer to it. And so um, I've not done a junk journal for just a month for myself. I've done some ephemera journals for myself that I store ephemera in, and I did recently do a journal that um, has some of the memorable, memorabilia, can't say that word, um, that was on the bookshelves, so I didn't, I don't have room for photo albums and stuff here in the travel trailer, which by the way, full-time RV life is going great and I'm really happy with it um, I'm really happy with my living space I'm really happy with my working space and yeah I've I've been busy organizing and reorganizing but I think I'm getting closer and closer because the indicator of that is when I'm very crafty I can get things done I'm not freaking out because I can't find things. That's a good indicator that I've got myself to a good point. So, just took a deep breath. And now we're going to go ahead and turn the camera on to my junk journal. In a minute. There we go. Okay, so I hope the lighting isn't too bad. It is... 9 30 at night here in Idaho and um, I can see that there is a bit of a glare but I don't have a lot of options in the living space that I'm in so I will do the best that I can um, let's see I wonder if I leave lights on behind me Turn that light off if that I think that helps I think I've heard that it's better to have lights behind you it's a little dark here maybe at some point I can get a little light clip on light um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this this is my junk journal that I created for junk journal January and so um, I love to get inspired for to do a cover and not real tickled with my handwriting for Junk Turtle January, but I do love this Muslim, Muslim type material that I stamped images onto it. Um, can't remember what the Stamp It Up stamp set that was. And then I use the um, the Stampin' Write markers to do junk journal. And then I have a white gel pen that I wrote over it. We've got some embellishments here. Here's some of the new um, embellishments that are in the new catalog. This is the postage stamp punch that did this. And that's some of the Christmas tool DSP paper that's probably just about gone. And just some pretty pearls from a past paper pumpkin kit, probably. Yep. And I did this months ago, this background, using, um, I don't know if that was grunge or something. One of the grungy type stamp sets that's retired. And then I sewed this. And um, that's a lot about what that's about. 
So what I did was I used some of this retired ribbon from Stampin' Up to as a closure. And so what I did was I sewed a signature, but I didn't sew it into the cover. So to attach the signature to the cover, I used some very vanilla um, thread and I just wrapped it around a few times and that's holding my signature in. Just something new I wanted to try. And so in the middle, because I've got the threads from the signature and the thread from the very vanilla twine, I have four um, threads ends with four charms on it. So I love taking these little price tags that are on some of the stuff that I buy from the resale store and just grunging it up and I just leave it on the, the um, safety pin even and I use that as a charm. Then I took some of the sequins from one of the new um, annual catalog die sets and I cut out some sequins in different colors on foil paper. <clears throat> and then this is just some little scraps that I got from the resale store. I mean, I get this stuff for like 10 cents or 25 cents. And I think, oh, that's got possibilities. And then I had bought some bulb pins to hang stuff on. I found this little key. I don't quite know where I got that from. It's very cute. And then I went to Hobby Lobby today and got some stuff. I'm going to try and make one of those blue pins, danglies. And this is a little charm. It says, find your fire. Because one of my hopes for this junk journal in January is that I will, um, it'll be very therapeutic and I will do a lot of self -aff affirmation and encouragement and um, really make January a good month. Okay, so let's go to the beginning and do a flip through. So I have the junk journal prompts that the group is going to use. And um, this is, the information for this is on Meg, megjournals.com. And so I just put um, some, I used some digitals, glued them together to make a top loading pocket. So we've got a pocket here. I can journal on here. I can put something in the pocket. So I've, I've gotten a really good start on this journal, but I left some stuff to do. I didn't want to get it all done in the last couple nights because I still, you know, I want to do some of it as the month goes on so that um, I can be encouraged in the moment or inspired in the moment. So this is some ribbon that I got from the resale store. Probably paid 15 cents for it. I used the retired numbers die set to um, cut out some numbers. And then these are just some words from Tim Holtz, um, uh, Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And so I made a little envelope pocket with a digital that has ledger paper and I love any digitals with ledger paper because I'm a bookkeeper. So then um, I cut this flower out from a digital it looks like. This is just some ephemera from Taperology I think is where I got that from. And there's a journaling card in here. This is a digital from Scrimping Mommy that um, I printed out on cardstock. I think 
it might round the corners too. And then I've got a little calendar here for January 2023. And I'll stick the pocket back in the pocket. And here we've got a page for January 2nd and a page for January 3rd. And I did some I, masking and I used one of the new in colors, Parakeet Party. And then I used um, what, the stamp set Silhouettes, I think is what that is called. It also has a butterfly and a tree. And here's some ribbon or lace from the resale store that I got real cheap. Cheap. In fact, I think that's what this price tag is for. Paid 65 cents for it. Um, here's for day four. And this is just um, a stamp from the, the planner that came out for a join offer for Stampin' Up! And now it's available to anybody. Here's a little ticket that I can write on the back for January 5th. And it says that today's going to be a good day. So I am making plans that different days are going to be good days. So this one I thought it would be cute to use some ephemera for the date. So this is the 6th. And actually I did that for the 5th too. I used ephemera. And then here's a little card that I made with a Sahara sand cardstock and then I masked it a little bit and then I used some ephemera from either Taperology or Tim Holtz. This is some old retired hardware that Stampin' Up! put out probably years ago and it's called um, I want to say hodgepodge but I may be wrong. And here's that beautiful paper from Stampin' Up. It also has a ledger sheet with it. Um, what's it called? I think this is with the the Rom Romulus Rose stamp set. I think it's a suite that goes with that. Um, here's just some old stuff from an old paper pumpkin kit. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with that, if anything. Here's an interesting pocket that I made. I used some of the tea, um, tea, tea batik or something like that paper. I keep pulling it out each time to remind myself. So here's a little journaling card with just some notebook paper that I grunged up. This pocket is very interesting. It has, let's see. So actually I, I did a little with, so this pocket it's by itself. And then I attached it to a library card pocket. So we've got a piece of paper to journal on there. We've got a piece of paper to journal on here. Using that DSP. A little piece of paper to journal here with that DSP. I've got a little banner here that I haven't decided if I'm gonna like use it here with the the day because I don't have the days on here yet. So this is just hanging out to till I decide whether I want to use it or not. And then there's these little vellum pockets here, as little tuck pockets for something tiny. This is a little banner that was with the the large numbers dies. This is a little scrap. <coughs> I'm going to lay the, the day number on top of there. Something else I got from the resale store. Um, this is a tea bag that I took apart. And then I stamped it with... Um, a stamp set. I wish I could remember what. So I did, I'm going to try not to bump things here. Let's see. 
made a work box today. So I did an altered box. <coughs> and it's just got some book pages and I used some old Christmas washi that I wanted to use up and get rid of because it's not stamping up. And it's just something when I bought when I was on the road here about a month ago. And um, anyways, this is a workbox, so it's got some some supposed trash, but stuff that I'm going to repurpose to be like a tag and a pocket and that sort of thing. This is the one stamp set that I was using. Amazing Silhouettes. It's got a tree and leaves and a butterfly. And then just some other stuff that I'm going to work on. So... That was the name of the one stamp set. Now I want to figure out what the name of the other stamp set is. Be right back. Okay. It was, yeah, it was this one. It was botanical layers. I think. I think. This leaf doesn't look quite right. And I don't know. I do know that this is the stamp set I used to stamp this material here. And I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but there's these little gold shiny places. That's from the, the retired ink. Um, the all-purpose ink Vegas Gold. I don't think we have these available anymore. I might be wrong. I love them. I love to put them in my little sprayer with alcohol and sp spritz. I haven't done that for a long time. Okay, so let's get back to here. Or was I? Okay, so this is an old, oh, and then I've got a journal spot right here. And this is just a, a tuck, this tea bag is just a tuck pocket. And here's a vintage music sheet, very old very fragile I love it because it has somebody's pencil marks on it from when they were teaching themselves the song or something maybe they had a student and it it's got some stains on it and stuff um, I just love that that I might put something on I might leave it like that I don't know um, so here's I bought some of this paper from Amazon that's where this sheet came from. And then just some of that. This is lace from um, Paperology. This is from an old paper pumpkin kit. So here's a place to journal. And it says, live your dream with passion. And then just a place to write. These were cute. They were at the resale store. I probably paid 10 cents for a little package of those. This is cabbage dyed paper that I got from Cover to Cover Creations, I think, on an Etsy shop. Here's a journal card from one of the Memories and More pack. This is paper from that cute little new set that has the bears and a little fox and that sort of thing. I don't remember what it's called. Here's just some paper that I stamped on. I stamped on it with, um, what is this? Oh, this is cheesecloth that I stamped on. And I stamped on it with, um, looks like, yeah, this set botanical layers and I used early espresso ink 
there's just a little cluster and a journal card from one of the memories and more kits. Used a mask. Actually, this was kind of a mask from a, a paper pumpkin kit, an old paper pumpkin kit. Here's another journal card. I think this was from the Chic. I always forget the whole name of it. That really cool stamp set. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Darn it. Wish I had a better memory. I bought a box, box, a little music book from Amazon. And that's where these sheets came from. I wanted it to be more real music. But it's kind of cool. This is a kind of cool way to do a corner pocket. So I just took a square and folded it in half. And then you've got the pocket, the tuck pocket right there. This is another cool pocket. And what I did with this, instead of gluing this down, and so having like a pocket here, a pocket here, and a pocket here, I didn't glue this spot and I put a little magnet here. I just got these magnets in the mail today and um, they're a little bit bigger so I, I had the little teeny tiny magnets and I thought I wanted to try something that was a little thinner and a little bit bigger. So that's fun. More of that paper I got off of Amazon. More of the cabbage dyed paper. Man that stuff stank when I first took it out. Ooh, I don't think I'll be buying cabbage dyed paper again. This is held together with Velcro. It's a little pocket. So you could journal inside of here. And then there's a little tuck pocket here. And then there's another pocket here that is also held together with Velcro. And another little vellum pocket. And then there's a pocket here. So this little thing has all kinds of opportunity and this was done with the something hughes dsp paper I, I can like remember half of a name of stuff i think that's because i have half a brain there's the other side of that music paper there's another one of those paper pockets i did glue this all together and and then um I have a tuck pocket here. Here's some vellum that I embossed with um, that embossing folder that looks like bricks. And another Memories and More card. And so we've got three pockets. We've got a pocket here, we've got a pocket here, and we've got a pocket here. And then we've got a tuck pocket here. Can you tell I love pockets? This one was so tall that I, I cut the top off. And so we have a little one here with one, two, three, four, and a five, a tuck pocket there. Here's a page to do something with, and it has a pocket. I guess the other side had a pocket too, huh? Yeah, the other side had a pocket too. I just love folding the corner of a pocket down sometimes like that. So then I had a bag and I turned this into a pocket. Here's um, a little file folder. Hmm. Cardstock file folder. This was with that decor piece that's still available in the new catalog. In fact, I bought a second one that's still in the box because I liked it so much. And I'm using one in um, our dining room as a communication board. <clears throat> so when I think of like grocery shopping that we need to do, we are still settling in so we're like taking stuff to storage and bringing store stuff from storage back and so I'm writing notes on that and then um, just reminders of things that we need to do like we're watching for the tank heaters to come in 
from Amazon um, because we need to get that done so that if it gets cold again, which I'm sure it will because I think every year Idaho has had negative numbers at some point. Um, and while it did get really cold, maybe down to nine degrees here recently and caused us some problems, um, we didn't get any negatives. So I'm expecting it to get cold in January, at least one instance of that. So this has a l another little Memories and More card in it. And some blank pages. This is a digital. I, I don't remember if this is from, from Amanda or not. Amanda is, oh my gosh, I just said it a minute ago and I blanked out. Something Mommy, Scrimping Mommy. Great YouTube videos. I highly recommend you go see them. This might be from another one, like Margaret Greth, Seven Plaza, or something like that. Or another one is Gail, and I can't say her last name. I might have purchased some digitals from her. So, that's what I've got. This, um... You know, it, it might look a little crooked, but all I have to do is straighten it out. But that, I mean, that um, twine holds this in here really good. And what I like about the idea is that if I want to put another signature in here, I maybe could. Or if I want to put more pages in here, um... It could, but they wouldn't be part of the original signature. I don't know. It was just it was just an idea to try out. So that is the walkthrough of my journal. Even the back looks really cute, really fun. Maybe cute isn't the right word. I bought this washi tape from Washi Company. It holds really, really good. I just I really love that washi tape. It's good stuff. And of course this I love because it's it's botanical. It talks about taxonomy and stuff like that. And then I've got some other that has um, some pretty flowers and um, some vintage images like music and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and... and uh, cut this off here. I'm looking forward to tomorrow to work on the first prompt, which will be, oh boy, that's tiny. What does that say? And it's dark in here because I turned the lights out. It says resolutions. Oh, right. So that just reminded me. I have my first, well, not my first, but I have my I have a card for resolutions and it's right here and doesn't that look pretty um, on this paper so let's go ahead and put that down and let's make that a tuck spot make it we're gonna glue here here and here sorry if you can hear the TV but it's night and it's the usual time for the hubby to be watching TV so I'm not gonna complain okay there we go. And then I'm going to take, let's see, I can't because it's in the other room. So I'm going to take a Stampin' Write marker 
and I'm gonna use what color should I use? I think I'll use crumb cake. I think I'll use crumb cake. Okay, and I'm gonna write resolutions. Ah. Some of my stuff has, oh, I don't wanna write on that. I need a piece of scratch paper. Well, yep. It's like my stuff didn't like all the cold weather from when I transferred everything out here. So that puppy's dry. But for the most part, it's one side is dry and the other side isn't. I don't know what happened. I'm still working through figuring that out. All right, so we'll try soft suede. Let's see if soft suede works. Not really. Not good enough. Mm, let's try Knight of Navy. I think that'll work. Hopefully. How you spell resolutions? Nope, it's an A. I didn't feel like that was right. Well, I don't write a word for a long, long time, which I can tell you when the last time was I wrote that word. Um, I don't always remember some of the sounds. So there we go. We're ready for tomorrow. So thanks for spending some time with me today. And I hope you enjoyed this flip through of my junk journal January. And maybe you'll go check it out. And maybe you'll decide that you want to participate. So if you do, don't, you know, worry because you're not prepared. You could just like start your pages. And then as you have time, put the journal together and that sort of thing. So, um, I can't remember what I made this journal with. But, uh, it was something I did months ago before I moved. I think I used some, um, some chipboard and some of that black tape. And so, it's not real flexible, but it's okay. It, it would be this fat anyways because the pages that I have in it. So, um, yep, I hope you decide that you'd like to give it a try, and we will chat with you again next time. Goodbye.